Okay. Call Hello Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. I am not a member of Great Millstone yet. I've entered into their labors. Peace, mercy, and blessings to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this. Wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. And this is this won't be long at all. Um, I actually want to get back into reading a couple of more scriptures. And then, Lord willing, if there's another lesson that comes to me, I will bring it out. You know, I will write this out. But now, this is not fact. This is not uh, doctrine. I just wanted to show something that there is an idea, um, which is why they could have been fear mongering this war. Or, 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 you know, or not that it's not coming. Eventually, it is. it will come because there has to be rumors in, uh, of wars. And Esau played his part by um, using his mainstream media to overhype some of the situation. So nobody really knows exactly what's going on. But anyway, I'm going to read this, right? The uh, alphabet group seems to be determined to manifest a prophecy and they have their left-handed prophets just like they are. We have ours on the right-hand side and righteousness and that are true. You have those who are liars and who set up and manipulate situations to, to their will. And they, they have studied the people to, to a T and they know how they will react. And they know what the people's next step will be, how they, which is how they are able to counter it. Problem, reaction, solution. All created by the same uh, entity. All right. Propagated by its own ranks over the past two years that a transnational, you see it, network with alleged ties to, you know, what they've been talking about, Ukraine conflict. And that's supposedly the next global catastrophe to befall the world after the C word. Um, so, they'll use the W Supreme, Supreme to also come after those of us who fear the Lord. And that's what I wanted to get. I believe it's like 15... Uh, la, la. let's see. And some of him, some of our people, the two thirds, he's going to get, right? That's just how the story is written. Um, for the sword and their destruction, one people stand against another. Well, we can read that as well, because that, that's valid. Um, we'll do 15 and 15, second extra for the sword and their destruction draws nigh. <laughs> Uh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And that does mean domestically and across the land. All right. Because we, we know the end result uh, of what is called Babylon the Great. Of this place that is called Babylon the Great. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the curse, the course of their action. Uh, shall stand in their power a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able right these things that we you know on a lightweight experience but we know it'll ramp up there is <laughs> according to how our scriptures are written and we believe them wholeheartedly through faith things are going to get a lot worse way worse way more drastic all right and it is up to us to hold on to what we have given this gift given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and to um, uh, keep the faith and be building up that inner man. You don't want to be scrambling, <laughs> spiritually scrambling, right? When, 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 uh, SHTF. And I wanted there should be insurrection for. Man, I got to find that. Okay, but also read through 2nd Esther 16, the entire chapter. All right. And it talks about the scarcity of man because of the wars and the famine and all of the plagues. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is not playing no games. Um, okay, you know what? In damn. insurrections, I probably spelled that wrong. Yeah, 
Let's do it like this. Those. Give me a second. I'm just going to get some keywords. So it ain't going to look. <laughs> it ain't verbatim, but I was trying to get the keywords. Verse 70. All right. So I was close, but not quite. <clears throat> I'm way down here in the 30s. So this is what I wanted right here. Um, second Esther's verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And we also know that these are things that that happened in 70 AD as well when when Jerusalem fell but I just put I wanted to bring this out to liken it unto what happens now because the servant isn't greater than his master so if they persecuted Yahweh Shai they're going to persecute you plus it's written that these things are going to happen we just don't know how they unfold but this seems like a plausible, uh, you know, a plausible way to go about it. This is their, their, their modus operandi, the same thing that they do all the time. So be on the lookout because you are about to be labeled a domestic T word under the guise of protection from W supremacy. Because that is the legitimate T group. That is a legitimate T organization. And they're going to use that as a cover and lump everybody in, even those of us who are calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's all I wanted to get. Uh, just keep paying attention. Be circumspect. Watch what you say around folks. All right. Pay attention to the things that are going on. Always be praying. Always, always be repenting. Because we don't know what we've done. There are many times that we've gone off and have not paid attention. We need to have... Uh, can't talk. We need to be appeasing the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He is angry. That if, if nobody ever told you anything else, hear this. The Lord is angry. And he is angry with the sinner every day. So don't fall in line with the sinners. Be cognizant of what you say. Be cognizant of what you do. Pray. Repent. Keep your head on a swivel. Because although things are cool for now, we know according to the scriptures that, uh, well, <laughs> let's just say many of us won't see or many of our people won't see that great deliverance. Many of our family members won't see that deliverance. Many of our friends won't see that deliverance because they'll fall by the sword here. They'll fall by famine right here in Babylon. And I pray that we are all, uh, that those of us who are listening in sincerity and in teaching, that we're all of the hopeful elect and that we don't uh, are partake in that, that, that second death, all right? So with that being said, that's all I have. I just wanted to put out a quick warning. Pay attention, see, pay attention to everything that you see. Pay attention to everything that you say. Things are starting to change. These prophecies are coming down the pipeline very, very quickly. We are out of time. All right. So, Shalom.